hey guys and today i'm again disassembling my rear box uh what i will be doing i will be replacing these power transistors to see if i can improve the power how capstans are rolling so far it was like pretty low i'd like to see if the transistors are at fault so i got the newer version so you see it's 139G, it's very similar to 136, but a little bit more powerful, almost the same parameters. Uh, I will be opening these both motors, uh, remove all transistors. I spent like uh, two months almost like trying to get the new hole sensors. So you see these two guys here. Unfortunately, they are not available anymore. The last source, they've been like trying to deliver like full months and then they canceled order. Okay, let's see. I still eager to make it better. It, it should be moving like much better. There's no friction. Let me see if I will be successful. See you soon. So here how this motor looks inside so what i mentioned the coils are working through the board and that's where like the how close the magnets will be to the coils we'll mention the torque which it would be able to get so probably this is one of the reasons that's why this motor is not so powerful as other vendors anyway i will replace transistors so they sit in pretty flat let me see how i may try to fix it see you soon okay guys here is the new transistors installed i'm about to assemble this motor we'll check the uh, resistance of all co of oil all coils just to make sure they're still good and we'll put everything back so these are all the transistors i uh, was able to disorder these two but broke the other two like one was like broke very easily so probably the material they made of this plastic is already deteriorated okay let me assemble this and i will start work on the next motor hey guys and i just completed the second motor uh, well, while i was measuring the coils on the first motor i mentioned that each coil consists of two exactly the same coils which we just winded around one is made from red color wire another from yellow color wire and they are connected between middle and outer points. And each coil is 22 ohms. If you are interested. Okay, let me assemble the second motor. And then I will check tape transfer one more time to see if there are like any frictions or whenever. Like to make sure it runs smoothly and let's check if the torque will be improved on the reels because i have read on the german forums that they are replacing this transistor as a must in these decks and just to make sure that motors will have better valve and flutter okay let's see if it helps see you hey guys while assembling i made one more observation so the you see this ring with uh, tooth which gets it has one side painted so the painted should go down not up as i assembled the last time because you see the shaft doesn't touch and doesn't have any uh, position with this large ring with ears and that means that uh, it will be hold and should roll between these two with the spacers and this ring 
and it should have uh, the low friction. So last time I did assemble improperly. So let's see if it will help now. See you soon. Oops, I did it again. <laughs> so guys, um, I assembled everything and measured valve and flutter and with these rings, a metal side up, it gets to 0 0.25. So this kind of blue coating, some ceramic low friction coating, I don't know. I'm so tired with this tape transfer. Uh, it's so many times, I believe it's six or seven times I disassemble it. I'm lubricating it, I'm trying to make everything run smoothly. I can even like with replaced transistors, motors run a little bit better. Uh, still like, I don't know. With Dragon it was much more simple to achieve the good specs with this guy. I'm just like, uh, if it would not have, I, I just don't know what else I can do. 0 0.1 for double direct drive motors is a bit too much. Okay, let me assemble now in this order and see how it will perform. Okay, guys, I'm working more. I disassembling and assembling. So, these spacers, the copper, those are adjust the heat of the magnet, this magnet, above the board. So, that's the only reason. And motor spin, so, from one side, this uh, spacer is, I believe, hard steel, sits on the uh, ceramic coating, and the, on the other side, it pushes to this plastic. So it needs to be lubricated either. I'm just getting crazy how they did, did it. Like, uh, design is terrible. Our much simpler designs work much better than this. Okay, so my, my last attempt, so like I get from 0 0.2 to 0 0.3. And like I'm still learning what's wrong. It's strict 5 Hz. 5 Hz is uh, rotation speed of the motor. So one of the motor is having issues slowing down with every, every turn. Okay, so still trying to fix. It's been like, I believe, for four hours now. Crazy. Okay, see you soon. Hey guys, and here I'm continuing fighting the noise in my rear box. And I come to the option that this relay needs to be disassembled and cleaned. Because from everything I get, like uh, this relay has a high resistance and this allows system like to collect 50 gears, 60 gears noise here in the United States. Uh, I was trying, like I was thinking that this problem with uh, playback amplifier, I spent like almost all day with it, verified everything, check it, so I'm not sure like when I, actually all problems starts when I like, bend this board, so I'm already resoldered it, this board. And then like I started to push here on the relay with its own and it's make the 60 gears noise to go away. So now I will disorder this relay and try like, to clean everything inside. I'm not sure if I can like remove this plastic piece, probably not before I will disorder. Okay, let me open it and I am it there. Hey guys, and here I am the assembled relay. I was able to clean all the contacts and deoxidize them. So I hope now it will work as a new and I would not experience any more issues with uh, hum noise. Let me assemble it back and the meet you there. 
Hey guys, so it's been another week I was working with this deck. I tried to fix the final flaws. Uh, one floor is like uh, uh, 60 gears hum coming like uh, from transformer uh, to the playback amplifier. I tried like everything. I tried replace parts and tried like the different configurations. Now like uh, the playback amplifier is very sensitive and like uh, they even didn't put a metal frame uh, to the uh, to transformer base it is just made from aluminum and it doesn't cover so this magnetic field so as soon as i put something in between the hum goes lower so there's a design flaw i believe that's why like uh, Sony always tried to design like as, as, as much as they could for the high-end decks. So they have all uh, three different parts that separated power supply, amplifiers, and digital parts. Now, next, <coughs> second flaw, design of the direct drive motors. I tried and I was not successful in uh, reducing wow and flutter. So issue is in the design. I replaced the transistors and wow flutter become even a little bit worse than it was before. But it's on the high frequency. With every rotation of the right cup stand, we have a little bit change in the frequency. This like, and there is like a direct connection between uh, uh, hole sensors and the power transistors which drive the motor. There are no intermediate microchips, nothing. So as soon as these like, uh, hole sensors work or sense a little bit different, we have those fluctuations in the speed. So this is Revox model's issue. All other decks, they have a separate amplifier uh, for the like whole signal it goes through the uh, op-amp microchip then goes to the power transistors and then goes to the core here and they admit it and that's a reason i tried everything new pinch rollers i i did all and like it's exactly with every rotation of the right capstan we have a little bit woo -woo -woo with five gears i measure it and it's it just right there and the last floor, like it's, uh, I cannot fast forward to the end. It stops. You see, at the end, like reverse works, but fast forward, I cannot overcome it. It still plays nice, by the way. Like uh, when Wow and Flutter on the five gears range, it's uh, barely can be heard. But again, like I will be sad in this deck. I cannot make it perfect, despite like everything it has. It's required change in the design. So like uh, electromagnetic cover needs to be put on the power transformer, number one. Uh, direct drive motors has to be changed like to the way other manufacturers did, right? Um, so I'm not sure, I, I'm just giving up. It's, it's not usual for me, you know, I've been fixing so many decks and I did so much for this one. I tell you, I was spent. A, I spent a week trying to like, make this uh, playback amplifier working without hum, and I didn't succeed. And then I, I decided, or oh, maybe it's from transformer. I just put a piece of metal sheet between like transformer and amplifiers. Boom! It it goes away. This weird. And you see it when it's fast forward. It doesn't come to the end. So three, three minor issues with this deck. I'm not sure if someone likes to play with it. It plays really nice. It has very good view and has the original cover, everything. You see. And this another, it's, it's not the motors. They work fine. I check it up. It's like a sensors which sense like uh, elevated current and believe a, a little bit higher tension and it booms, it stops. 
I give it up, like I don't like schematics of this deck. It's over complicated in the pieces where it should not. At the same time, they made ridiculous decisions when they should do good choice. Okay, I will just put it on eBay, like as parts. I don't know if it's working, see. And it's motors good, like uh, heads are perfect, really. You check yourself. No wear on these heads. Here. Beautiful, beautiful heads. Again, if someone has a good working, this part is make it look like new. I thank you to us a lot for today. See you in my next adventures. Bye-bye.